All right, and welcome back. This is Some Dumb Gaijin with your host, J.J. Walters. And it's nighttime here in Canada. Yes, I arrived safely. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your worries. And uh, yeah, I got a bit of um, reverse culture shock going on, but seeing some friends and some family and things are looking good. Just waiting for COVID to die down and boom, bam, wham. Thank you, ma'am. I am back at doing comedy here in beautiful British Columbia, Canada. And then according to Joe Rogan, shit's going to be happening in Texas. So maybe I'm heading down to Texas or maybe I'm heading down to New York or maybe I'm heading down to the dying California. I don't know. But anyways, um, Corona's still happening. It really sucks. Um... YouTube is being stagnant, comedy being stagnant. I really just don't know what the fuck I'm going to be doing. But I am preparing for Corona to end, and I am preparing to get back up on stage and kick motherfucking ass. Like only I can. And I'm using my Corona time pretty good. Just uh, selling hockey cards. I found out that I have a Mario Lemieux rookie card worth five to $10,000. And a bunch of other hockey cards, but I don't really know much about hockey, so I don't know. I'm uh, going to have to go and get it checked out. And then I have to go sell my, uh, what is it called? Oh yeah, comics. You know those things where they're made of paper, very thin. Usually stacked your beer mugs on them. Sorry, I need to take a sip of water here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's all about preparing, really. Um, it took me a while to get this new podcast up here for everyone because it just feels like donkey dicks with all this, nun- like, fucking nothing is happening. And here I am in Canada, and my living with my parents, and my dad has, well, has had cancer, and he beat it fucking three times, but he has holes in his neck, and holes in his tonsils and shit he's just being picked apart by this cancer i think he got it three times now but main thing is uh i can't even fucking go and see my friends because if i go see my friends i put him at risk and i don't want to do that so besides having nothing to do i'm just helping them out and you know it's going good they're getting up there in age and if I can save them a trip from getting off their butts on the couch, I kind of feel happy that I can be of some use, I guess. And yeah, um, it was really sad seeing my friends and having to say goodbye to them in Japan and then coming back to Canada and seeing my friends and nothing else has fucking changed. But I love my friends and I love my family, so I'm making the best of it. And shit in the news is just crazy with all this cancel culture. I see... What was it? Sarah Silverman going and apologizing to people. And it's like, Sarah Silverman is apologizing? Jesus. That girl was doing fucking blackface and doing Jew jokes and fucking everything. She was one of the dirtiest female comics. And she's fucking like 40 or 50 now. And I'd still bang her with no rubber. And then end up with some Spawn of Satan comedy child from hell. But of course, I'd always pull out and blow it on her face. But, um, <laughs> ah, come on, all of you would too, right? And then, uh, Bill Burr is pretty upset with, uh, Gina Carana or whatever her name is that got booted off of the fucking Mandalorian. Like, Jesus. I keep saying that too. I'm not even fucking religious and I'm screaming his damn name. I, uh, what was it? Where was I now? Fuck, I'm starting to sound like Bill Burr and his rants. Um, the girl that got booted off of The Mandalorian, like, I saw the picture of the Jew lady, the Jew lady, that uh, she posted running, and yeah, it was horrifying to look at and weird, but, uh, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna fucking comment on that. I'll get cancelled. Point being, though, it was, I don't know if it's something to ruin someone's career over. You know what I mean? Like, these people bitching about cancel culture just, to me, 
they seem like Nazis themselves. And I'm writing a bit about that too, like all cancel culture, all the people that are doing cancel culture and ruining people's careers are no different than Nazis that ruin Jewish careers. No, they ruin their careers in a way by ruining them. And um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just retarded. And then I, I remember like this porn star that I, I hearing about and she just, she was a straight porn actress and she didn't want to have sex with any guys that had sex with other guys and did gay pornos. And then the internet attacked. And the next thing you know, they're saying, oh, well, you should go kill yourself. You know, fucking you're homophobic, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, God damn, it's this girl's fucking body. She should be able to do whatever the fuck she wants with her own fucking body. And yet all these people are telling her that she can't. And what happens? She fucking kills herself because of cyberbullying. And I think that was like the first cyberbullying suicide that really hit me. And then after that, there, of course, was Hanakimura and a lot of Japanese ones. I don't know too many if many more happened in the West, but it's a lot of bullshit. I mean, fucking that cyberbullying should be fucking murder, shouldn't it? Ah, oh, we should be fucking hanging them in trees and pelting them with stones. Being like, huh, how does your internet violence feel against real violence, motherfuckers? I don't know. Cancel culture just pisses me off. And uh, she got canceled recently. Dr. Seuss got canceled because of what? Because of like three books. And what was it? Someone was showing me a picture and it was like of an Asian guy that was painted yellow in one of his books. And someone else showed another picture and the Asian character wasn't painted yellow, and it was like fucking people race baiting with fake modified picture bullshit. Like, what the fuck is that? And then to top it off, uh, there was the Amazon Hitler one. And it was a fucking picture of an Amazon package with like tape on it, and somehow some fucking triggered dumb bitch, you know it was a girl, and don't call me fucking sexist because <laughs> no guy would do that shit. And, uh, yeah, it, it's like a box with tape and like the Amazon, like Nike symbol is a smile and the tape is the Hitler mustache. And people complain that the new Amazon logo looked like a fucking Hitler smirking. Like, <laughs> Fucking Hitler smirking. That's what they thought. And all I can think is, you know what? I'm going to fucking offend the fuck out of these people with my comedy. And not even trying to offend them. I'm just going to be real. And then they're going to fucking shit their pants. And I will take their internet insults because I'm a fucking nobody. And then uh, hopefully I can bully all these cyber bullies into kill themselves and uh, fix the world. You know? Maybe I'll hold that fucking weight on my shoulders and be like the crucified Jesus of comedy. <laughs> yes, I just refer to myself as a god. A shiny bronze god. Why do people say bronze god too? Fuck, wouldn't gold be better? Or platinum? Yeah, fuck that. I'm a platinum god with diamond encrusted jewels. Suck it, Jesus. Just joking, Jesus. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know, guys. That's the fucked up world we have. And I'm hoping that Corona gets lifted soon so us comics can go back to work, work keeping the world in check. Because I truly believe that. I believe comics are the gatekeepers of fucking people thinking that they have a right to an opinion or attack. And uh, you might be saying, well, why do you have the ability to do it and I don't? Because I'm not a comedian. I don't have a say. And no, that's not what I'm saying. But when people say stupid shit and they got to be called out for it. And the world is full of stupid shit that needs to be called out. But when stupid shit is called out and people get offended by it, now they're calling out the comedians. And it's like... No, 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 no. 
because comedians are this like gatekeeper of the bullshit and how to say it they're the ones creating the bullshit <laughs> all the cool people that come to comedy shows and they're just laughing at the bull like laughing at the crazy jokes they understand it they get it uh what was it dave Chappelle said that pissed off a lot of people too he's like i don't understand trans people and that's what makes it funny or something and uh, I think that a lot of that is from not understanding people, right? And when we don't understand shit, it's easy to make fun of. And then uh, when we do understand it, and you can't make fun of it, it's fucking boring as shit. Not saying that trans people are boring as shit, but uh, I haven't met a funny one yet. No, I'm just joking, see? And if I don't say I'm just joking, then you fucking hate me for it, don't you? No, I'm joking. Anyone that's not cool isn't listening to my podcast, and I know all of you are cool. And, uh, yeah, what else is new in the world? Pfft. I unpacked my shit, and it's a pigsty. I got fucking pity cuda pictures everywhere, which means they're like the little pictures you take in booths in Japan, and then you color it. But when I was a young fucking 20-year-old in Osaka and university, I think some Australian guy just drew dicks all over it with cum shots all over, and I don't know why I still have that picture. <laughs> and I don't remember that night at all. We were all fucking drunk as shit. But, uh, yeah. I got a lot of shit I brought back from Japan that I don't even know if I'm gonna use. Like a super, super Nintendo Mini. And then I hacked that that have... Like, every Nintendo game, which is really cool. But, uh, not a lot of time for gaming these days. Or at least I'm trying not to, and just, yeah, keep on that straight path of being busy. <sighs> but every day I'm hustling. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping to upload these to YouTube and get some comments going and get some discussions going. Um, I'm looking at the things here and I'm getting about a hundred people or more listen to each podcast episode and, uh, yeah, I'm loving it. And I want to hear more about you guys and what's going on and what you want to hear about. And with YouTube, I'm going to plan, um, uploading my live shows. And then of course, from the live shows, my tours and my traveling and all this crazy shit and then crazy adventures I'm going to be getting into. And my buddy Sean, who if you are listening, go check him out at the Story Till Now on YouTube. And he's going out into like glacier ponds in Canada and 4 by 4 with his Jeep into like all these crazy wildernesses. He's probably going to start his own history channel, Finding Bigfoot, I'm sure. Although he kind of looks like Bigfoot himself, so it's kind of like finding himself, and then he'll turn into some, like, fucking transgender Bigfoot-loving novel. <laughs> Have any of you guys seen that? It's like the craziest fucking shit. Like, uh, what was it? Here, I'm going to search it right now, since I'm fucking multitasking right before this podcast. Bigfoot, what was it called? Romantic Novels? Romantic novels. And it's some fucking... Here we go. The Hunt for Bigfoot by Lisa and Sheil. No, that wasn't it. Seduced by Bigfoot and Ravaged by the Yeti. <laughs> what the fuck? Nobody, nobody loves a Bigfoot like a Bigfoot babe. <laughs> Sasquatch love and other imaginary things. <laughs> weekend at Bigfoot's and it's like a big gray, gay rainbow <laughs> fucking flag with this guy this guy mimicking the fucking Bigfoot walk <laughs> oh I come for Bigfoot <laughs> oh, I haven't read these in a while oh fuck come for Bigfoot and it's like a picture of a girl lost in the wall like lost in the woods and these are actual fucking novels that girls l read and fantasize about a giant fucking black ape banging them. And it's fucked up. It's like, uh, 
black guys aren't good enough for them now. Like, what the fuck are these girls doing? Like, what's next? Elephant fucking... Elephant man fucking porn? Like, Jesus. And I don't think any other comedian really talked about this on stage, but God damn it, people, we have an epidemic going on. Why are people trying to... F- Men are trying to find Bigfoot to find, like, the missing link in science, and girls are already fantasizing about fucking it and have having, like, really retarded, like, oh, God, what would the fucking babies look like? Like, five fucking eyes and eight hairy feet? Oh, the world is messed. If you didn't think the world was messed, like, after corona, after tsunamis, if you were in Japan, after all these fucked up shit that happened, and you don't think the world is messed, and you think there's hope in the world, look up Bigfoot romantic novels. And, uh, just try to hang in there. Um, but this shit makes me want to come up. What's kidnap, kidnap by the Bigfoot? (laughs) Oh, these are fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. It's so stupid. And, uh, okay, I gotta exit this or I'm gonna keep laughing during this. But, um, yeah, where the fuck do I go from fucking come for Bigfoot? <laughs> uh, uh, watch there be fucking Loch Ness monster porn, give or take a year or two. Oh, man, that was a good laugh. We all need that shit. But, um, yeah, actually, I don't know where the fuck to go from this. So I'm going to keep the this podcast short and sweet. Um, I'm going to give you guys a nice and sweet taste here on Spotify, rivaling my, my buddy Joe Rogan. Hopefully he gives me a shout out someday. And then uh, this will be on YouTube. And then comment on it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to hear. Um, shit's going to be rocking. And once COVID is up, not only am I going to be doing comedy, but I'm going to go back to my fucking badass Cobra Kai dojo in Canada. And because of COVID and Cobra Kai being fucking the hype that it is, uh, our Cobra Kai dojo is getting no credit. Literally, like Cobra Kai. Like, you walk into our dojo in Kelowna, BC, Canada, and we got the fucking Cobra Kai symbol right in the dojo, right like the um, like the series, like the Cobra Kai dojo that Johnny built in the Netflix. And this is way before the Netflix special, by the way which was actually the YouTube series people keep tend to forget. And uh, yeah, we're fucking Cobra Kai f- for life. And uh, I want to know if my boss man is getting business from it or if he's fucking hating it. But no, he loves the series too. Anyways, guys, yeah, lots of fun shit coming. I'm super excited. You guys should be super excited. And even if I only have a 100 of you viewers now, Come for me for the ride because I'm going straight, straight, straight to the top and fucking Joe Rogan better be winning. All right, guys. Thank you so much. This was Some Dumb Gaijin. We're all Some Dumb Gaijins in Japanese and I fucking peace the hell out of there and I am happy. But I miss Japan a little bit. But I just had sushi today in Canada and we have cream cheese. So Japan can suck it. All right, guys. Peace.